Whenever I decide to cook any side dish for my roti, paratha or rice, I never make the same chicken curry again. Each time I always try to make it little different from the previous one. Few days before, I made this chicken curry, which is in village style. So I thought to share it with you today. Hello and welcome back to Cooking Story. Take a heated pan into it, add 1 tablespoon of coriander and cumin seed, 3 to 4 red chili whole. Now dry roast in a medium high flame until it does fragrance. Once it turns fragrance, then into it add 3 to 4 green chili, though it depends upon your taste for how much spicy you want to make your curry. Then remove it and with the help of a mixer grinder make a fine powder. You can also add water to this. Then another pan add 4 tablespoons of mustard oil and wait. Once the oil becomes hot enough, next we will add 3 to 4 potato cut into half. And fry this potato with little salt and turmeric powder until it does golden in a medium high flame. Do you know why this village Thai chicken curry recipe is so yummy and delicious? This recipe is prepared using fresh ground masala which make this dish more tasty and enhance its taste. So watch this entire video, I will show you how easily you can make this curry without any special ingredients. Once these potatoes are done, then remove it from the pan. Now into this same oil, add some whole spices, few bay leaves, few cinnamon sticks, 3 to 4 green cardamom and 1 black cardamom. Next add 3 onion. Cut into slices and fry it in a medium high flame until the onion changes color and it turns to light brown. After 6 to 8 minutes you will see the onion will come to this stage. Once this stage reach, we need to add 1 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. Again stir it in a medium flame continuously or else it will stick at the bottom of your pan. Once the raw smell of the ginger and garlic goes away then we will add 1 teaspoon of sugar for the color. You can also omit this if you don't want to add sugar in your curry. Again stir for few seconds then we will add our chicken pieces. I am using 750 grams of chicken which is cut into medium size. Once you added the chicken into the onion, then you need to give a good mix upside down. Then we will add our basic masala. One and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder and salt as per your taste. Then again stir well. So the masala and the onion and the chicken all get coated with each other nicely and in a very low flame cook it for around 8 minutes until moisture start to release from the chicken. Now you can see the moisture already start to release from the chicken. At this point of time, we will add one and a half tablespoon of the masala which we have done at the beginning of our recipe. Though this is the very vital part of your cooking, once you add this masala, mix everything well so the masala are infused with the chicken and then add our fried potato and cook for another 10 minutes in a very low flame until the color of the chicken curry changes to dark brown. Now look, the chicken curry has changed its color to dark brown and 70% of the chicken are almost done. At this point, stir once again and add one and a half 
cup of water. Though you can adjust the water according to the need of your gravy, then cover and cook for another 10 to 12 minutes in a very low flame or until the chicken is perfectly done. Now finally, look at the texture and the color of this village style chicken curry. I hope you will definitely like this. So give it a try today and if you have any question related to this recipe, please comment in my comment section below. You need to serve this village style chicken curry with roti, rice or paratha. And if you like this, please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new recipe, you get the notification first. Till then, see you again tomorrow with another new episode of Cooking Stories. Stay healthy, stay fit. Bye-bye.